I will record the computer. I hope you guys don't mind. Like I said, the reason for this recording is just to uh, make sure those that are not here have the opportunity to go back, you know, go through what we have. We are, we are just about to um um to do now. So I want to be as brief as possible. I promise 30 minutes, even though we've done 11 minutes already. So just to quickly introduce what the project is all about. By the way, my name is Evan. I've introduced myself on the platform. So let me not go in depth anymore because we don't have that much time. I am a software engineer, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I'm very passionate about um, getting women to solve problems, especially social problems using technology. So that is the, the brain behind what Miss Tech is all about. So um, I am the CEO of Phase Innovate. Phase Innovate is um, a non-for-profit organization. And the idea behind it is to see how we can bridge gender and race gap in the tech field. So that is the purpose for Phase Innovate. So we, we, we come up with very, very innovative, in my opinion, projects um, to actually achieve our goals. And this is just one of the projects. Um, and the focus this time around is for women between the ages of um, 18 to 35 um, and to see how can we get them to start looking at problems. And this time around, we are looking at the African continent. Some of us may not be from Africa, which is fine. Um, and then some of us are from a particular place in Africa, you know, um, but I'm going to be talking about how we're going to spread ourselves. Even though you are from one part of Africa, you may actually choose, choose to represent another country. All right, so, um, okay, so before we go into this outfit stuff, right, let me, even though I have actually explained in a text what exactly the, um, the project is all about, but I'll just use this opportunity to talk about it briefly again. So, um, Miss Tech is a project that actually gets women between the ages of eight, 18 to 35 to pick an African country of their choice. Yeah, they may be from that country or they may not be from that country, you know, but so long as they kind of develop an interest or it could, it could just, just be, you just pick up a random country from Africa because the focus is on, is, is on the, um, the continent of Africa. Just because a focus country and um, research that country very well. Find out what sort of problem, uh, social problem um, do they have? What sort of problem that you think technology can solve? But funny enough, you may not even know that technology will be able to solve it, but um, 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 I would just dare you to just go and do that research. And I tell you anything that it's in this world, <laughs> And somehow we'll be able to use technology to, to look into it. It might not be a major element of it, but somehow it will be part of it. So that's the idea behind this, right? So um, now um, I have seen some, um, some introduction in the platform. A lot of us are saying, oh yeah, I'm from Nigeria and I want to represent Nigeria. I know everybody would love to represent their country. I know that. But for the purpose of this, yeah, I will suggest that you look at other countries. Like you see that we have so many Nigerians there, you know, and this is an inaugural um, a mistake. So um, obviously is that, you know, it's not that popular, but I know after this one project, it will be very popular. Next year, we will definitely have more people on board. So, um, um, so I advise that you look into, or you consider other countries besides Nigeria. All right, so that's about the selection of the country. Um, and one other thing that I will be doing, I'll also get some other support from some other um, um, volunteers. They will be guiding you as to what sort of technology you will use to solve this problem. You, all you need to do is just identify the problem. That's just your work. You know, just identify the problem, you know. Um, now, I would equally advise that if you are in a particular space, Think along that space. If you're a lawyer, think about, okay, I'm a lawyer. Is there any judicial or is there, is there any um, problem um, that relates to the law field or something in one country? You know, think about justice in a country. What can you do 
to what can technology do to assist or to help mitigate some some certain uh, nuances and um, that are unpleasant, right? So, um, or you could be in the science field. Is there is it a medical problem that you want to look at? Or you could be in the social science as well. Is it rascality or whatever? Do you know what I mean? So whatever I would like, I said I would advise that you look at your field. That is when it will make more sense to you. You know, if you are pursuing what you're currently doing, you know. But if you choose not to, that's fine. But this would be my advice. All right. So that's about the the theoretical aspect of it. So once you identify that problem, you come to me to say, yes, this is the problem. This is the country I want to work work with. Yeah, or work on. Um, and this is the problem. Then we will sit down together and we will. I will suggest. Well, I just go through all the different um, um, technology that could be used. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put in a video of some basic knowledge of what IoT is all about, of what artificial intelligence is all about, of what um, metaverse is all about, of what um, what other thing you know, blockchain is all about. All those kind of, I will, I will also back them up with examples, you know, of the kind of problems that you could use for to solve, um, uh, to you of the type of um, uh, problem that this technology can solve. All right, so I, I suppose when I do that, probably it will make more sense. But for now, your task is to discover the problem, you know, and we, we have timeline because um, this event is taking place June 30th. It's quite, it's just around the corner. So I will say um, for next week, the next time we're going to be meeting, I will. I want to believe that you would have done that research. You would have actually, maybe you just DM me to say, okay, this is the problem. This is the, con the country and this is the problem I've identified. And then we'll take it from there. So please, um, yeah, you have one week to do this. One week. I, I, I'm, I'm sure when you put in like about, 30 minutes of your time during the week, you could, you'll be able to figure out uh, what sort of problem um, that you will be working on, right? So, so that's about the, the thing. So um, this, this um, pageant is basically 80% of what I just spoke about. The other 20% is the fashion bit, is the fun bits, you know? And yeah, so in any project I work on, I try to bring in an element of fun to it. So this is the fun bit of it. In as much as we are looking to solve the, um, or when I say so, um, to look at, to put a focus or shine a light in Africa and, and, and see how we can solve the problem. But at the same time, we still want to have fun, right? So the outfit that um, you guys or you ladies will be wearing will be, we'll have, we'll have three different outfits. So we're going to have a t-shirt, right? That would have the flag, a beautiful flag of the country that you're going to be representing, Yeah. Gonna have it, just a normal t-shirt with a flag on it. Beautiful flag, very trendy one. Don't not like, you know, very trendy one. Um, and it's just something in the front and some nice words and a pair of jeans. So you all will wear that. That will be the first, first outing to introduce yourself. Yeah, introduce yourself and which country you're, you're you know, why you chose the country, you know, you'll be, you'll be interviewed on the stage, you'll have somebody that will be talking to you. So the first out, outing will be the jeans and the t-shirt. Then the second outing will be the country outfit. Now I have this picture in front of me, yeah? Um, the plan is to make exactly this and some other one that will cover the tummy. I know I know some of us will probably don't want to expose our tummy, but um, um, I will say this is what, if you don't, I, I'm actually going to put this on the platform, the two different types that we have picked. Everyone will wear this for the country outfit. However, we will decorate it with the country's, the tradition. For instance, maybe um, you choose South Africa. South Africa, you find out the type of um, 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 accessories that they wear. What kind of cap will South Africans wear? You know, what, you know, we we'll accessorize it. You know, if you have the things to accessorize it, please let me know. Yeah, we couldn't even do any of that because we really want to know, uh, get anything because we really want to know which country you're selecting. If you have accessories, all well and good. But if you don't have, please let me know ASAP. So that's why it's very important to choose the country ASAP so that we can actually also assist in getting the accessories to make you um, belong to that country of your choice. But everybody will be wearing something like this. 
So that's for this country outfit. And, and of course, we're gonna put some something to make it look very traditional, you know. Then um, the dinner one, the dinner outfit, we, we will be making all that. We'll be making Ankara dinner outfit for everyone, you know. Um, yeah, and one thing that you would need to do for this um, Ankara dinner outfit, I will need the measurement of everybody again in the next one week. So we have plenty of tasks this one week because we need to have things done, right? So by the end of next week, I would like to have the measurement of everybody, you know, and I will I will equally put in some styles so that you can say, okay, I prefer this. This will fit my body shape or something, you know, so that we can quickly make it because we don't have much time. So we'll do that. Then, um, yeah, I think that's about, that's all about the outing and stuff, right? Any questions so far? No? Maybe towards the ending. Now, you see, we have six awards. That's why we need 20 girls. We can have uh, 10 or 14 girls. We want plenty of girls because we have six crowns. You know, the, the Miss Tech um, Africa crown. The Miss Tech Africa crown is, of course, is the, let me use the African word, the, the Oga Pata Pata of them all. You know, that's the Miss Tech Africa crown. So um, that's the major winner. So. What you will be getting is obviously the main crown and whatever project that you you choose, yeah, one of our tasks is to try and implement that project in Africa. So you will be an ambassador of that country. We'll be introducing you to um, the top, the big shots in that country. So you could actually carry, you know, have a career in that space, depending on the application or the idea that you want to uh, work on. So this would be a big one. And um, it's not just, just the fun of it. All right, so the uh, first one now, of course, everybody will have this, this three, um, six, six people here, or these six winners, they would have their own crowns, their own special crowns, and, uh, and some other goodies that comes with it. And everybody will have their certificates, definitely, to show that they participated in this tech award, um, in this tech pageant, I beg your pardon. You know, so yeah. So I think this is just a tip of the iceberg of things that are gonna happen, but uh, let me hear from you. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Let's have a chat together. Right, stop sharing. Okay. All right. So can I, any question? I hope you guys were hearing me now. I, I wasn't talking to myself. Yeah, any question? Somebody break the ice. If, if people are, I, th I think as well, if people are in a place where maybe they can't talk, they can maybe type on the, on the chat as well, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's perfect. If you can talk, if you are, um, if you're, you know, in the, on the train or something, you just type. Yeah, if you have a question. Is everything clear? Are, are, this, are this ladies shy or what? <laughs> I want to hear somebody's voice. Angel, come on, say something. Okay, somebody said I've explained it well. Okay. Should I tap myself? Yes, you explained it well, okay. All right, thanks for that. So, so, okay, then can I ask a question? Yeah, Angel, or Ami Amelia, what are we supposed to do in the next one week? Are we okay if you can speak? No? Okay. All right, let me not. Okay, brilliant. Angel said, get your measurement and pick up our country. Fantastic. Get our measurement and pick our country. And what am I supposed to do? Who <laughs> tell me, what am I supposed to do? I want to know that you guys are listening to me. What am I supposed to do? What information am I supposed to provide? Uh, 
Okay, you can type. All right, it seemed like, um, yeah, I think we're, we're okay. Let me, okay, we have three minutes, four minutes more. You know, I want to make sure we leave here, Um, you know. So like, there, there will be definitely several gifts coming up, coming on, on your way for the, at least those that, every everybody that participates in this thing will definitely get something. Um, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to disclose them yet, but, you know, just be rest assured that um, there there is more to it. Yeah. All right, so um Miss mm -mm. uh, Vire, Mrs. Vire, do you wanna uh, do you wanna say anything? Vire is it's here, she's um you know supporting the project as well. Do you have anything to say? Uh well I just want to introduce myself. I'll probably still do that again on the forum. So my name is Vire Komalafe and I'm just here supporting um um, Evelyn in this project. I think it's amazing. I think it's first of its kind. And there's been a lot of buzz about it on, on LinkedIn and people are very curious about it. Um, just the fact that we are, you know, looking at solving the problem in a country, I think that is just amazing. And, you know, um, at some point I'll be sharing some of the stuff that Phase Innovate would have kind of pioneered and some project that they would have done just to give an insight. Um, you know, of, of what she, she does. I know Evelyn doesn't like talking about herself, so I'll do it for her. Um, so I know that um she she did train some some young ladies as well at uh, one time for a pro uh, you know uh, a tech event called Technovation and they won and they were in the papers. You know, the the Irish Times was really it was really great, great crack. So um I suppose the only thing I wanted to say is that we'll, while this is going on, we're hoping to get some sort of sponsorship from tech companies like Microsoft would have supported some of the stuff that you know phase of it will do. So I think it's just open doors and opportunities, really. So I want to encourage us to, you know, just you know jump right in, and we won't be taking so much of your time. And um, the the way even as I always kind of worked is just to give people time. If you just for say if you have a week, just find that time to you know, for thirty minutes, one hour to just do your bit, and then um, keep it going, and um, that that's going to really help a, a lot. I know people either are having exams and they have stuff to do, they have work to go to, but this is a great project, and that uh, the the fact that everyone here is a pioneer, you know, the first, you know, um, how, how do they call it now? You know, one of the first set of people to. We're all new to this as well. I think it's going to be amazing to to be part of it. So, um, and and thank you for being on board. And the last thing I just want to add is that we are looking for twenty ladies. Um, at the moment, I think we're how many? How many have? I think we have about fourteen, and we need more. We need. Yeah, I think so, the goal is yeah. to get at least twenty. So I would just like to encourage you all that if you know somebody. Um, who you think this might be a great idea for? Uh, please let um Evelyn know, um, and then share the link and let them join in and as well. Thank you so much. If you haven't introduced yourself on the forum, please do so as well. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, well said, Vary. Thank you so much. So it's seven thirty. Yeah, spot on. So thank you. Is there any other question? If not, we'll call it an evening. Yeah. Are we okay to go now? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you so much for also bringing your friends, Jessica. You are a superstar. Thank you. All right. So thank you all. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.